Hi, it's Alana from Baker Art. I'm here to do another painting tonight. Uh, I just wanted to show you quickly, I said at the end of my last video, that I would show the dried result of the wave, if you saw that. Absolutely in love with it. I'll try and get you a little bit of a close up of some of the areas there. So yeah, really love it. It's not my first, uh, sorry, it is my first wave, but it won't be my last. So I will link that up the top here now if you want to see that one. It was the last video that I did. Okay, so tonight I'm going to do a my first, I don't even know how you pronounce it, triptych, triptych. Um, I am doing a present for my niece for Christmas to support with her present that I got. Um, she's asked me since I started this to do her one, but I didn't get any hints on, you know, I asked her what she would like. And all I got was just do something that you think I'll like. So I've just done a tester on a tile tonight. And these are the colors that I've decided to go with. That's still wet. Okay, so we know what colors we're going with. I will name them uh, later. I'm gonna pour down a white base first. So this canvas is one that you can probably see through there that there is a bit of a design behind there. It was a canvas that I didn't like and I have just painted it with white um, just to see. Hopefully that will be enough to block any of the blue from coming through. We'll see how it goes. You know, If it doesn't work, I will try again. All right, so I'm gonna pour this out and I will come back to you. Okay, so I'm back. So I've laid down my white. What I have in here is white house paint mixed with Australian Floetrol, two to one. So two parts Australian Floetrol and one part water. Okay, I will link up here at the top here now how I mix all my other paints. So I have all of these in squeezy bottles prepared. I'll link that up the top and you can see. Now, so I've laid down the base. I have, you know, done all the sides and I have blown out the air bubbles. All right, so now it is time to lay down the colors. So the order that I did it in when I did the tester, I did put this red, so this is uh, purple red, red purple and purple red. I did put that first, but I kind of want a little bit more of a pop of red. So what I think I might do, I think I might put it first still and then just put a couple of drops on the top at the end. So let's go. I will just lay these down. I will list the colors in the description so I can speed this up for you. laid down all the colors that I had. Um, last time I didn't put any white in the top, I might just add a couple of drops of white. I was gonna put red again on the top, but as you can see, the red has quite spread out because it took me so long to work out what I wanted to do on this side of the design that the red ended up spreading out. So I think it's gonna be enough now. So I'm just gonna do a few spots of white just to Break up those darker colours a little bit underneath. I ended up, the only thing I did different this time was I just at the end there added a bit of, um, it's a colour I've got here called metallic rose. So it's like a metallic -y dark sort of pink colour. So I just added a little bit of that, which I don't have on the coaster. All right, so I'm not going to, blow the colors over I'm going to but I'm going to flood it a little bit around just to give it somewhere to move so this one I'm probably gonna go up that way and come down through the center so I want some some paint here to help it flow a bit and a little bit up that side this one will come up here more now here I'm going to do a little bit that way and a little bit towards the center so I'll just put a little bit around. I know I probably always end up using too much paint, but I haven't had a problem with it drying as yet. So I'd rather have more than I need and I can blow it off if I need to. All right, so I've only just poured this. There's already hairs all over it. 
I'm gonna blow out the air bubbles quickly. Now I haven't decided whether I'm gonna use the mini blower or the hairdryer. I had some success with the hairdryer on the um, last one I did that wave because it was on a bigger canvas, I guess. But these are small, so I'm worried that it's just gonna sort of blow them too far away. I might just start with the mini blower and then see how we go. Let's go. I will fast forward through this and put some music over so I don't have to hear the mini blower. Okay, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Didn't kind of, let's have a look. Oh, it's kind of similar. A little bit different to what I was expecting. Maybe a little bit darker, but um, all right. Now I'm just going to fine tune it. Okay, so see here where this sticks out a bit more in the center. I will. Uh, hmm. Do I bring them in or do I take that one out? I think maybe push that one out a bit. Maybe bring these in a little bit, but also push that one back a little bit. All right. I'm going to just have a little bit of play around. It'll probably go for too long if I don't do it off camera. So I will um, just skip over this and I'll tell you, you know, show you at the end. Right. Okay, so here is the finished wet result. If you're stuck around this long, just leave a comment. It would be great just to say you were here. Uh, YouTube likes to uh, have some interaction or hit the like button, whatever you would like to do doesn't always have to be positive but interaction is interaction if you've got some constructive criticism go for it uh, okay so one thing I didn't show you on camera was using the blowtorch so just my little butane torch there I did it to blow out all the air bubbles and I got some nice interactions here now it seemed to be down here the red purple seem to interact the most with the torch and create some little cells and lacing everything else kind of just stayed the same but yeah see it here it gave me that little lacing effect there it broke up those big patches of red which was good so stick around for a second i'm just going to show you the frame that my son and I made to cover this up with to stop it from getting any dust or insects. Love it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this one dries. Bye. Okay, so here it is. This is the frame I was talking about. I'm just going to step back and show you. So it covers the whole nearly half of this side of the table. I didn't want it to come all the way to here because I always have this stuff sitting here. It goes all the way to the end here. I've got room in there for another painting on this side so yeah it keeps all the bugs and the dust off so all it is is just your basic wooden um, frame just some legs attached there I just painted it white it was just all off cuts of stuff and then I've gotten this really sheer fabric but no holes at all so even little bits of dust and you know little tiny bugs won't get through so there we go i'm really happy with it i love it and i will see you when this is dry for a quick update and see if it dries too dark all right see you then okay so here is a dried result so i'm pretty happy with how it turned out uh, it didn't dry too dark um it might look a little bit darker on the screen but in real life it's not too bad nice and bright so i'm pretty happy with the colors composition wise probably in that middle panel not 100% happy with. Um, now, I did have a couple of issues on this panel because I believe because it was a one that I'd poured over. So I've got a little chunk there. I'm not really sure what happened there. And then just in this corner, some little pock marks. So I'll just fill them in with some paint. Um, all in all, I'm happy with it. It's going to go to my niece for Christmas. She's, you know, very proud of what I've done. So she's going to hang it with pride. So, um, yeah. Thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.